we are having a great guest dr lakshmi sai of sai prayag hospital pulmonology homeopathy from alapura so we are going to have a great session and uh, the subject is autism and its homeopathic management the doctor who is a chief physician of sri uh, sai prayag hospital pulmonology homeopathy from alapura that center is for uh, holistic development of child and adolescents and in that center there are specialists in special education speech therapy occupational therapy multi sensory room and clinical psychology consultations they are providing and doctor is well versed in treatment and she do have 16 years of experience good evening one and all respected seniors and dear friends today i am going to share with you my topic autism and its homeopathic perspective nowadays the awareness about neurodevelopmental disorders are high so many cases will be coming to our office with uh, uh, many kinds of neurodevelopmental disorders so to know about autism uh, is uh, nowadays it is um, we should know about autism and other kinds of neurodevelopmental disorders the term autism spectrum disorder describes a biological developmental disorder that have diverse etiologies but are characterized by impairment in reciprocal social interaction social communication and behavior specifically restricted repetitive patterns of behavior interest and activities so in autism the main area affected is the social communication reciprocal social interaction social communication and behavior is the main area affected so we go into detail in each of these three areas uh, about the prevalence recent statistics says that approximately 1 in 500 or 0.20 percentage or more than 21 lakh 60000 people in india are suffering from autism and asd is 3 to 4 times more in males than in females uh, the prevalence of asd in siblings of children with asd is as high as 20 percentage so when a pa uh, parent come with their child to our op suspecting a neurodevelopmental disorder especially autism the main thing um, as a homeopath uh, depends upon our case taking the um area we should not miss in our case taking is history history combines the prenatal natal postnatal mainly um it starts from the uh, gestational time period of the mother so first question is whether the child was wanted or unwanted so coming to the uh, history the most important things are prenatal history natal history postnatal history prenatal means the various kinds of problems the mother uh, had suffered during the uh, pregnancy time like diabetes thyroid um, hypertension or any history of bleeding or spotting during the first or second trimester uh, again uh, fam uh, how was the uh, delivery that comes under natal history whether it is whether it was normal or cesarean if it was cesarean what was the cause for cesarean any mucoral aspiration or any um life defect was there many other causes are there next the family history any similar conditions are there uh, prevailed in their family and coming to the personal history what all things the child had suffered uh, from the time of birth uh, till today so um, now how was the milestones whether the milestones was regular at time or any regression was there if regression was there what was the cause for regression any kind of disease uh, sometimes there can be a fever and suddenly after a fever regression starts or any uh, any history of vaccination after vaccination the regression had started such kind of histories are important and uh, after taking the history Uh, coming to the evaluation evaluation is done uh, uh, with various kinds of test like uh, cars isa international scale for uh, indian scale for assessment of autism is isa and after evaluation coming to the diagnosis part 
the first area is impairment is social communication and interaction so a person's or a baby's social interaction starts from second months of age second month of age itself we know the social smile starts from second month of age so if there is any delay in social month a uh, social smile uh, we have to notice that because um the treatment for autism can be started from uh, one and a half to two years of age. The best thing we can do in the treatment of autism is early intervention. The prognosis depends upon early intervention and treatment. So such kind of milestone delay or uh, difficulty in social smile or um, not giving eye contact at the two months of age are very important signs of autism. Uh, after two months, if the baby has developed social smile, again, uh, the speech, any kind of speech delay, uh, the speech milestone will start from one year of age. Uh, one year At one year, the child has to say one word. Uh, uh, by two years, two words. And by three years, three words the child has to speak. If any, if, uh, if already the child starts speaking, um, if any regression happens, uh, that can be due to any fever or after vaccination. So such kind of histories are also important and uh, that should be uh, noted. So this speech impairment can be in different kinds, different way. Aut every autistic child are different also. It can be lack of delay or regression. If present also, spoken language may be atypical. For example, uh, we all know about echolalia. They will uh, simply repeat the same thing. Um, some uh, language is of two types, reciprocal and uh, uh, expressive. So uh, some children will be having reciprocal language, some will lack expressive. So they can understand everything, but they can't express. Some children will be able to express only their needs in single terms, uh, but nothing else. They can't explain the situation. Um, they can't explain uh, 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 the needs in uh, more than one word. And uh, some children, they have uh, limited use of language or communication, like using um, uh, single words, or uh, even though they are capable of speaking in sentences. Um, and reduced or absent nonverbal communication can be there. Um, while communicating, we all know that we use our gestures, we use our body language uh, during conversation. But uh, people with autism cannot understand or uh, cannot are, are not able to use such kind of communication skills. Little or no response to others' gestures or facial expression. If uh, in a um, lecture class also, uh, the uh, uh, professor will be knowing how much interested the children will be from the facial expressions. But uh, autism, people with autism will not understand whether the other people is, other uh, person is also interested in their conversation from their facial expressions or other body languages. They are very slow to respond when called by name, despite normal hearing. Lack of response or reduced or absent interest or in attempts to share interest with other person, example, by pointing or monitoring the other's gaze, for example, lack of social smile or eye contact, lack of imitation, limited or absent social bits, lack of ability of interest in sustaining a social interaction, resistance to being cuddled, lack of awareness of other people appearing to be in their own world. So they all like to be in their own world. Preference for solitary play, lack of imitation or participation in social play with others. So um, they will be um, always playing alone. Because of this difficulty in social interaction, um, they can't mingle with others. So at school and at home also, they won't be playing with siblings. Lack of interest in other children or odd social approaches to other children. Um, they may be uh, trying to interact or they uh, sometimes they will try to interact uh, others uh, with harsh behaviors like uh, um, beating or grabbing things from them because they can't understand others' feelings. Lack of awareness of common social conventions, example, taking turns in a conversation, awareness of personal space. Um, and lack of or minimal recognition or responsiveness to another's feelings, example, happiness or distress. They actually, 
they fail to understand others' feelings. Sometimes we feel that it lacks empathy itself. Abnormal interactions with peers or adults. Example, uh, they can be too intense or too friendly or too distant. So overall, this lack of social communication, the pathogenesis behind this can be impaired social cognition because even though um, they are intelligent. Uh, in uh, researchers says that about uh, 30 percentage of the uh, person with autism are uh, intelligent and about 70 percentage are uh, can have um, uh, retardation uh, at different levels like mild, moderate and severe. So the reason behind this lack of social uh, uh, interaction is impaired social cognition and uh, lack of theory of mind and lack of pragmatic and nonverbal language skills. Theory of mind is the capacity of a person to understand others' feelings or to understand oneself, the feelings of oneself and others. And the pragmatic and nonverbal language skill um, refers to the social language skills that we use in our daily interactions with others. This includes what we say, how we say, and our nonverbal communication like eye contact, facial expression, body language, etc. And how appropriate our interactions are in a given situation. So here they can't understand all this kind of um, body language and uh, they can't uh, address to the situation also. They can't interact well according to the situations. So these are the causes for lack of uh, social interaction, effective social, uh, why they can't maintain effective social interactions. Next, come to the next area, like restricted repetitive behaviors, interest or activities. Uh, we all know about stereotypes. Uh, stereotypes or um, repetitive motor mannerisms can be of different types, like hand flapping, that is um, uh, steaming, uh, repeatedly do doing something, and it can affect the speech area like echolalia also. Resistance to change, insistence on following same routines, reenacting scenes from videos or cartoons, a typical play, repetitive, like uh, lines of objects, opens and closes doors, turns light on and off, lack in imaginative creative play, no pretend play, over attention to parts of objects. We uh, anytime we had uh, every time we, we will observe a an autism person observing a toy in a different angle. They will play the toys in a peculiar manner, like keeping the toys in a lined manner, or uh, uh, again um, dis, uh, disturbing the line, and again uh, keeping the toys in a lined manner. So such kind of uh, a typical place will be there in the autism child. Lack of or unusual reaction to sensory stimuli. These are the uh, uh, behavior disturbances in autism. Um, autistic children, some will be having uh, hypersensitivity and some will be hypersensitive. Um, there are uh, autistic children who doesn't like to be cuddled or hugged. But there are uh, persons who likes to be hugged or cuddled. Because of that, uh, in our multisensory room, we provide vest for them, which will provide a, some kind of pressure on them. So in multisensory room, all the persons, most of the persons, according to, to their sensitiveness, we will they will uh, put the vest and we will make them to sit in a um, uh, compressive bag uh, where they will uh, feel that pressure, which will calm them down. And uh, um, for us homeopaths, um, we know that we are taking a uh, case and we are individualizing the patients. So our uh, system uh, depends more on individualizing each person. So for individualizing this, we all know that every autistic persons are different. So this difference or difference in repetitive mannerisms itself we can, from this mannerisms itself, we can individualize uh, that person. I will describe this thing uh, in the following slides. Here I will show a peculiar kind of um, repetitive behavior in this video.
that person is licking on that uh, utensil. So we had observed uh, uh, tactile also, uh, uh, all the senses. Uh, here, the person is uh, repeatedly uh, steaming with the hands. And that too, uh, the peculiar thing is, uh, he's trying to uh, strike on his head. And uh, with the utensil, he is trying to lick. So every um, each uh, poster has given a uh, an indication that uh, his senses he is having a hypersensitive to all kind of senses. He's uh, he's licking on that utensil and he's striking on himself. And now we will describe uh, how the stereotypic behavior can be classified. Stereotyped and repetitive motor mannerisms or complex whole body movements or twisting, rocking, hand or finger flapping, uh, walking on tiptoe can be self-stimulating and self-injurious. So um, every autistic child can have their own peculiar uh, self-stimulating or automatic, automatic behaviors. So if we are keenly observing them, uh, we can understand that they are showing all these things to convey some kind of message. So if they are not uh, interested in a situation, um, they can show these kind of activities as a, um, uh, a message that they are getting bored in that situation. It can be self-injurious um, behaviors also. Um, these self-injurious uh, stereotypes will be common in persons uh, autistic persons with severe intellectual disability. They can be triggers for stereotyped motor mannerisms. Um, these stereotypes can be a uh, uh, can be the expressions of frustration, anxiety, excitement, or seemingly it can be random also. There is a communicative intent in that. Example, attention, or they need to escape from the situation, or they need to avoid the situation, or maybe internally driven also, or can be internally driven also. Here, I will show a peculiar video in which the boy is trying to convey that he is not interested in something. The patient had told me, the parent of the patient had told me that he doesn't like his papa or grandfather putting the shirt open. So whenever the shirt or uh, shirt is open, he will make a peculiar kind of screaming and he will show some stereotyping behavior. We can watch this video. So here the boy is trying to convey, uh, we had uh, here the uh, boy calling Achacha. Uh, so he can't express it, but he is convey that he is trying to convey that he is disturbed. And uh, um, usually this kind of behavior he will show whenever the uh, uh, persons who are near, dear to him will put the shirt open. So maybe some kind of essential issues will be there in that boy seeing that. So the next is insistence on sameness, resistance to change, and restricted interest. So uh, in autistic persons, because of their uh, hyper or hyposensitive um, sensory issues, uh, most of the children will have a special interest, uh, especially on food. Um, they don't uh, like to uh, like sticky objects, so they will have only uh, certain kinds of food, particular food only. So this kind of uh, behavior or this kind of um, uh, symptoms or this kind of uh, uh, thing can impair their nutrition also. So most of them will have anemia and malnourishment. So, and uh, their peculiar other symptom is insistence on sameness or resistance to change. For example, if we are trying to uh, change 
um, uh, their routine, daily routine. Like if they are after bathing only, they are having their breakfast. If we are trying to change that behavior, means they will show uh, many temper tantrums and stereotype, and they will can they can be uh, they can show aggressiveness also. So um, they they will have some difficulty in changing their routines. So most of them will show insistence on sameness and resistance to change, and they can have peculiar or restricted interest. Some uh, will tolerate loud noise. Some will not tolerate loud noise. And they can show gestures like closing their ears and sitting whenever they enter into an auto or whenever they go for first wheels. So these are the restricted interests. Next is atypical response to sensory stimuli. It can be over-responsive or under-responsive or have a paradoxical response to environmental stimuli. Example, uh, noise, touch, orders, taste, and visual stimuli also. Visual inspection of objects out of the corner of the eyes. So um, we will observe autistic patients observing a kind, uh, a toy or a peculiar object through the corners of their eyes. A particular visual gaze they will show. And um, this is due to their sensory issue. And preoccupation with edges, they will always, they are all uh, always interested in observing the edges of that particular toy, spinning objects or shiny surfaces, lights or odors, uh, refusal to eat foods with certain taste or textures or eating only foods with certain taste and textures, preoccupation with sniffing or licking uh, known food objects, tactile defensiveness, sound sensitiveness. This um, preoccupation with sniffing or licking non food objects, it can be due to pica and behavioral problem also. Tactile def defensiveness already we had discussed about some kind, some people or some persons where likes to be cuddled or some doesn't like, some likes only soft pressures. Then sound sensitiveness also. The uh, As a whole, we will discuss in short regarding the early symptoms. Caregiver concerns about deficits in social skills. Caregiver concerns about deficits in language skills or behavior. Uh, about frequent tantrums or intolerance to change. Delay language and social communication. Lack of orient uh, orientation to name by age 12 months. Lack of pointing or gesturing to indicate interest. Lack of pretend play. Avoiding eye contact or wanting to be alone. Having trouble understanding other person's feelings or talking about their own feelings. Repeating words giving unrelated answers to questions, getting upset by mirror, uh, minor changes, having obsessive interest, flapping their hands, rocking their body, or spinning in circles, having unusual reactions to the way things around, smell, taste, look, or feel. The uh, various epidemiology and pathogenesis. Yeah, it is a new biological neuro uh developmental neurodevelopmental disorders can have biological causes like brain abnormalities particularly atypical neural connectivity play an important role in the development of asd so all these conditions occur because of atypical neural connectivity and parental age can also be a cause advanced parental age both for mother and father environmental and perinatal factors like uh, toxic exposures uh, teratogens perinatal insults uh, prenatal infections. Um, uh, last day, um, I have got a case where the, the mother came with her child, uh, who is three and a half year old, with regression, severe regression of speech. Now he's not speaking at all. At one year, uh, he had spoke some um, uh, one, two, three uh, non um, uh, monosyllables. Um, when I inquired about the history, she told that she was very stressed. Uh, this is her second pregnancy. Uh, she was very stressed during that time and she tried to, uh, uh, due to that stress, she tried to suicide having uh, some tablets. So that had caused uh, severe uh, problems for herself also. Uh, uh, that was the time uh, where she uh, thought of uh, that uh, she, she was not interested in that pregnancy because of some uh, peculiar familial issues with her uh, husband. So uh, such kind of, uh, so uh, that child has become autistic, maybe because of that, such kind of toxic exposure, perinatal insults and prenatal infections also. Perinatal and neonatal health, example, abnormal presentation, low birth weight, meconium aspiration. Next is maternal conditions like 
diabetes, obesity, hypertension, preeclampsia also can cause uh, autism and other genetic factors. Uh, many associated conditions are there which uh, always associate with autism. A number of neurodevelopmental problems and genetic syndromes are associated with ASD. 33 to 45% of patients with ASD have severe intellectual disability. 50% have attention deficit hyperactive disorder. 30% have epilepsy. The risk of epilepsy is increased in patients with more uh, intellectual disability. 25% of ASD are associated with a genetic cause, many of which have well-characterized clinical features like tuberous sclerosis, valparage embryopathy, 15Q chromosome duplication, etc. Clinical features, um, which will be restricted due to repetitive and restricted dietary patterns. And uh, that can be um, uh, microcephaly or microcephaly. Uh, can be normal also. Special skills, some individuals have special skills. Uh, we all know about seven skills in memory, mathematics, music, art, or puzzles, despite profound deficiencies in other domains. Even if the child is severely mentally retarded, um, uh, the child can have such kind of uh, skills, seven skills. Other special skills include calendar calculation, determining the day of the week for a given date, and hyperlexia, spontaneous and precocious mastery of single word reading. Um, there are Children with autism, without any special aids or without schooling, they will identify the numbers and they will the uh, they will type the numbers in computer, um, and they will show the pe peculiar digit whatever we are asking in calendar. Motor deficits. Children with ASD may have motor deficits including abnormal gait, clumsiness, toe walking, or other abnormal motor signs such as hypotonia. Toe walking is one of the common motor deficits which are seen in many kind, many autistic children. So there are many differential diagnoses also which mimics autism. When we see a repetitive mannerism in a an intellectual children, an intellectual child who is a school going child. We can doubt whether the child can have uh, uh, OCD or whether the child is having OCD or it, whether it is a uh, uh, symptom coming under ASD. So such kind of doubt can come. But uh, in ASD, peculiar uh, repeated stereotypes uh, will be shown. Um, the differential diagnoses are global developmental day, the delay or intellectual disability, intellectual giftedness. Uh, in intellectual giftedness, there will be normal pragmatic uh, language skills. In Intense interest are functional, varied, and can be explained by the child. And social interaction is generally enjoyed. And in social communication disorder also, absence of restricted repetitive patterns of behavior, interest, or activities will be there. And the other DDs are language-based learning disorder, developmental language disorder, nonverbal uh, learning disorder, uh, Lando Klefner syndrome, Red syndrome, a fetal alcohol spectrum disorder, attachment disorder, etc. So we all know that no two children appears or behaves the same way. No two autistic children appears or behaves the same way. Each and every children will be having different kind of stereotyping or different kind of behavior patterns. So uh, coming to the treatment part, uh, we all know that Master Hanuman had emphasized in case taking um, uh, in in aphorism ninety four, inquiring about chronic case. In this aphorism, doctor had mentioned while inquiring about chronic case, what are the circumstances of the individual to be considered? That means each and everything is important, even the lie of the patient, how the child is lying, whether the child is lying on abdomen, lying straight, or with head high. Everything is important. Uh, uh, coming to the uh, case taking, then individual's usual mode of living, his craving and aversion, individual's peculiar diet habit, individual's domestic situation, whether any um, uh, parental issues, uh, in order to identify the cause which maintains the disease. By removing this, only recovery will be possibly fully. And again, in aphorism 95, the, uh, he had given importance for accessory symptoms. 
So uh, master had mentioned during chronic HTK case investigation, minutest particulars and lesser accessory symptoms are also important. So um, it is peculiar or particular stereotypic behavior or peculiar um, interest uh, are the different uh, peculiar symptoms we can include in our case taking or include in our rubrics, which makes that individual particular. And uh, by doing this way, uh, surely we can um, improve the child uh, in many ways and improve their skills in many ways than any other system. And the other medi remedial measures are uh, to improve their social functioning and play skills, to improve communication skills, to improve adaptive skills, and decrease and to decrease non-functional or negative behaviors, and to promote academic functioning and cognition. Are uh, along with the treatment, we can uh, go for speech therapy, occupational therapy, special education therapy, a psychology consultation, and with a homeopath. Coming to the most important uh, part is the therapeutics. Um, for each, I think in our radar or in our repertories, uh, we have uh, many medicines for particular gestures. So uh, if the gesture is awkward, uh, the medicine is varatram. The peculiar gesture like spinning and weaving, the stereotype is like spinning and weaving, the medicine is hyoscyamus, sarsaparilla, stramonium. If the gestures is like skewing things, it is cali iodide. Tapping one skull with his fingertips is carcinosinum. Throwing about things. Uh, they have a peculiar tendency to throw everything. What is the, uh, what uh, comes in their way? It is phosphorus, bell, bright. Um, and if it is throwing over the head, it is moscus and stramonium. And waving in the air, just as like waving in the air, typical just as opium, stramonium, bright, winding a bowl as if like agaricus, stramonium, wild just as like uh, animals, uh, uh, like uh, barking, making or screaming like barking, colchicum, lobelia, uh, syphilitica, stramonium, baratrum, laughing wild. Atropinum, bell, calcarea, stramonium, putting fingers into mouth, calcarea, epicac, chamomilla, sacharum, playing with fingers, asarum, europium, hyacinthus. The other stereotypes are brushing the face or something away as if. Um, I think in that video also, the child is doing a kind of stereotype like striking. We can explain it. Uh, actually, we have to make rubrics out of it. It can be brushing the face or striking the face. Uh, or something away as if alumina, chamomilla, hyoscyamus, plays with the buttons of his clothes, asarum, moscus. It can be clapping, uh, then it is bell and stramming, covering face with their hands or looking through their fingers, rumex, ammonium carb, argentamet, knitting as if tarantula, opening and shutting stramonium, scratching thighs, sarsaparilla. Atypical behaviors uh, um, are also there for atypical behaviors. Uh, like desire to be cuddled, sachara, and desire to caress and uh, kiss, pulse. Now, most of the um, uh, children with autism, they can have sensory issues, like they will uh, always go and kiss. Sometimes they are dear ones only, and sometimes others also. They will take your hand and always kiss. So it is due to their sensory issues. Kissing everyone is crocus, varatrum, hyoscyamus, uh, creosotum and phosphorus. Hands of his companion is agaricus anacardium and wants to be kissed is tramonium. Shrieking, coastless shrieking. At a, uh, there can be a peculiar time for them also uh, during twilight time, uh, simply coastless shrieking. And varatrum, shrieking fearfully calibrum, shrieking looked at by bromium, shrieking night, chamomilla chloralum, caliphos, lacaninum. Shrieking when spoken to, silesia, sh shrieking, tool urging during um, REM, that may be an indication uh, for that uh, child. Shrieking, consolation, aggravation, and dim growth, bell, chamomilla. Shrieking, grasping at genitals, aconite. I was, uh, I had had a patient like uh, um, whenever he gets tensed, he will grasp the um, genital and he will shriek. Shrieking hiccup with, shrieking unless she holds on to something. Um, shrieking when looking at his image in mirror. Uh, this kind of uh, children can have 
uh, certain disorders like uh, anxiety, depression uh, during certain age. That means when they come to the adolescent age, they can have anxiety disorder. So such person um, will have uh, anxi anxiety attack or panic attack. So um, shrieking when looking at his image in mirror, syphilina, shrieking with restlessness in night, shrieking trembling with bell, shrieking evening, that is sanicula varatram. Hyperactivity, for hyperactivity, uh, many medicines are there. Uh, the peculiarity of tuberculinum hyper hyperactivity is the purposive hyperactivity, purposeful hy hyperactivity. That child will be uh, very calm or normal at certain situations like school, but will be very hyperactive uh, or uh, uh, disturbing or restless at home, uh, especially when the uh, when uh, the mother is doing certain um, things which the child doesn't like. For example, if the mother is uh, uh, dressing up and uh, trying to go out, the child will suddenly um, uh, make some mischievous things, may show hyper uh, hyperactivity or uh, temper tantrums. Arsayad, Varadram, Chamomilla, Sina, Tarantula, Anacardium, Arsayad, Calcarea Force, Merck, Nuts, and Tuja. Every uh, remedy is having their own particular kind of hyperactivity. Speech. This is the area where we can do wonders, actually. Um, uh, speech uh, can be in different patterns. We, we had already discussed before that uh, some... Uh, autistic children uh, will be having speech but difficult to express. That means uh, they will express only in one word. Uh, some will be uh, expressing their own need only but they won't answer to questions uh, what others ask. And some will be repeatedly telling something. That means they are having speech and they will pronounce uh, many things or they will sing a song itself. But simply uh, when they're sitting, not indicating or not when we ask them to sing, they won't sing. But they will sing uh, repeatedly the same song um, sometimes. That means speech is there, but they are not uh, in the proper way. If it is loud speech, lachesis, bell, hyoscyamus, sulfur, opium, hasty speech, hepar, hyoscyamus, lachesis, murk, camphor, uh, coffee, ignatia, bell, repeats everything said to him. That is echolalia, the peculiar symptom. Singham will sing, will do wonders. Um, repeats the same thing, Arjuna Nitricum, Cocaine, Kofia, Tosta, Germanium, Match, Creosolum, Whispering herself, everything she says in, she says in whispering only, Pyrogenum, Shrill voice in a Cannabis Indica, Cupram, Stramonium, Finds difficulty to utter certain words as if the tongue is so heavy, great mental weakness, he fails to know what and how to say it is an acadium. All these speech rubrics I had taken from Lilienthal repertory. In Lilienthal, uh, Master had explained in very well the different, uh, only that rubrics we need uh, more than enough to treat an autistic patient with a speech difficulty. Uh, in Lilienthal, it is there uh, in speech stammering and stuttering chapter. Speech difficulty, which misses words or cannot speak at all or repeats the same words over and over. Kanabhisateva, absence of mind, um, and forgetfulness makes constant mistake in words. Music is the only thing which clings to his mind. Krokasa uh, Deva. Uh, he will study a song. He will uh, understand the lyrics and he will learn a song by heart, but he can't speak properly or can cannot have a conversation properly. Deficient development uh, organs of uh, speech, probably from a central coast, utters only unarticulated sounds, phosphorus. Echo speech repeats in a monotonous singing way the words and sentences. Sing them. So, uh, thank you for patience, uh, patient listening. Uh, 